Somewhere around there, there's a flatbed driver burning down some old interstate. Running behind on a loan that he picked up in Boston, heading down to the Gulf Coast. And somewhere around there, there's a mom or a daddy working their fingers to the bone. Trying to pay for a house they'll never own. Yeah, but you're not alone. Well, just got settled into the stand here. Got a nice overcast evening. It's a little chilly. Um, had that cold front move through, so I would suspect the deer ought to be moving tonight. Um, like I said before, you know, I'm hoping for dozer, uh, but also uh, that split G2 buck would be pretty good. Oh, hang on. Oh, oh. Hey, there's actually a buck right out here in the field. See if I can get on him. That's a great sign. I mean, it's, I mean, it's only, it's only, uh,
Mm. I was thinking 40 probably, but I think he was closer to 30. I still think I'm okay, but man, that wasn't the shot I wanted. <sighs> Son of a gun. It's a good deer. <sighs> Ridiculous footage. All right, well, we reviewed the footage. The shot was definitely not where I wanted it to be. I was actually in front of the shoulder. So that's not where you want to be, but maybe that's better than being right in the shoulder. So, um, you know, you've got the artery that runs right through there and the windpipe. So there's a chance that everything's gonna work out all right. So we're just getting ready to load up here and head over there. Uh, I've got my wife and my daughter, and then my brother-in-law, he's gonna catch up with us here, and we're gonna see if we can get him located. So, uh, you know, I'm not feeling as good about it as I'd like to be, but, you know, I, I think there's a, still a good chance that, uh, that we're gonna find him here tonight. So uh, stick with us here, and we're getting ready to head out. So we've, uh, all, like I said, we've got our fingers crossed, so. Yeah, here's some good stuff right here. You wanna he's not bleed I mean he's not bleeding the best, but we're it's terrible, you know? Yeah. See it on this and try to get through that. I do see that. That's what I'm I see a lot. Keep going, Dad. I just want to give you a little update here. We tracked that deer last night um, for about two hours and probably a little over a mile. He went uh, all the way across my property that direction and then cut straight across the bean field. And then we kind of stopped right, uh, there's a little waterway in that bean field. We kind of stopped short of going into the timber because I need to get permission to head into there. Um, got my fingers crossed still. I went back and I reviewed the footage frame by frame. And what I noticed was I clipped a branch that was about mm, 10 yards out in front of me on a tree that was hanging over and uh, I feel like that must have deflected my arrow just enough to push it forward. So um, I remember seeing that branch but I thought I was going to be able to tuck it under it. Uh, I guess I didn't. So anyway, I'm just hoping for the best and uh, I'm going to do my due diligence and do everything I can to try to locate him. and. Uh, I'm self-filming everything for myself today because I don't have anybody that can help me. Uh, so I'll do the best that I can, but uh, stick with me. Again, fingers crossed. Hopefully we can get him found. All right, well, I come back to where we finished off last night and uh, I was finally able to locate Flood. And I walked down through this waterway probably about 30 yards and I'm still on Flood, but it's just just little, little spots. You know, we had that rain everything was wet so a lot of it's probably walking away so it's a little frustrating but anyway this is uh, you know this is what I'm trying to get accomplished just speck at a time speck at a time so I'm gonna keep working see what we can find well I've uh, I seem to have lost blood I found a bed but I didn't find any blood in the bed so I don't know if that's him if he's completely stopped bleeding or what but anyway, I decided, you know, I spent about half an hour searching for blood uh, after that bed and I couldn't find anything. So I just decided I'm going to come down here 
and look for blood on an entry where he would have went into the timber. You know, more than likely, he probably would have paused before he went into the timber. So, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna check that out and see if uh, see if I can have any luck doing that. Ho 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 ho! Oh, we got a white belly. Oh my God. Oh, geez Louise. Is that him? It's gotta be him. Oh, stupid coyotes. Dang it. Mmm, that is horrible. Oh, Lordy. Well, we finally got him up here to the house, got him all cleaned up. Um, I'm pretty happy here. You know, obviously you've seen the story and uh, you know, it was a difficult one. Uh, from the moment I released the arrow, I've been worried. It was about 17 hours of stomach aches and wondering whether or not I was gonna be able to find this deer. I had a lot of great help last night. I'd like to thank my wife and daughter and uh, my brother-in-law Trent Kennedy for coming out and really helped me tr uh, track this deer. If it wasn't for Trent, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have found it. He's a much better, uh, much better tracker than I am. So, uh, you know, super happy to have him come out and help me. Um, this morning I went out, didn't have any help, tracked blood for probably 40 yards and lost it, and uh, really just uh, boiled down to luck. I walked down thinking where I'm, where he might want to go into the timber, and uh, you know. He just uh, it would piled up right there, so just super happy, um, you know, especially knowing that uh, I was able to find him. There's nothing worse than, you know, shooting a deer and not being able to find it. So uh, that's really that's really where I'm the happiest. So uh, just stick with us here at Working Class Hunter, and like we always say, work hard, hunt harder. Somewhere around the, there's a flatbed driver burning down some old interstate. Running behind on a load that he picked up in Boston Heading down to the Gulf Coast And somewhere out there There's a mom or a daddy Working their fingers to the bone Trying to pay for a high